Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. Today we're playing Dirt 5 in VR with Orpex. There's a new profile out for the game. This profile is based on the grounded profile. I had a few problems getting the user profile to hook and work with Orpex, so I made my own profile with a grounded one and it worked straight away. I think the user profile was not finding the exe file in my Steam library. So by making my own profile, I could find the exe file and it worked just fine. I just had a quick test and it's working. So I'm going to jump into the game now. I'm going to show you my Vorpex settings and then I'm going to record my desktop. So you guys get really nice uh, video footage. Okay guys, here we are. I'm in the game. I'm in Vorpex. This is uh, one of the Vorpex homes. I'm playing the game on the Xbox controller. I'm sat on a sofa. In front of me is like a giant screen. At the moment it's in 3D. Now Vorpex has had a major update and it's got some new homes to choose from. So let me show you them now. Okay, so these are the new options in uh, Vorpex look. I'm in the loft. I can choose that to the lounge. Or oh, I like the next one which is the um, like the space one. There's Mars look. I'm in space play my games in Vorpex. Okay, so these are my settings for the game. I can't get Vorpex to work with uh, 3D geometry, which is the best way to play these games because you get really nice 3D depth. So, but it is working with Z normal and it's also working with Z adaptive. So use either of these, put your 3D strength to maximum. You need to be in cinema mode. There's no looking around in this game. Um, I've got some 3D depth in the game, so I'm playing the game on a giant screen. It's like a cinema screen, and I've got some 3D. It's not the best 3D in the world, but it's still 3D. Now, I've got the game on maximum settings, and this is a new game. All the graphics are on maximum. If you've got Vorpex, if you've got this game, you want to try it, use the grounded profile and use these settings, guys. Okay guys, I've been playing the game, so I'm going to jump back into my campaign. I'm going to jump back into uh, career mode. Okay guys, so let me explain what I can see here. In front of me is a giant um, screen. It's in 3D. It's not the best 3D. I can see 3D distance and everything though. You've got different camera angles um, if you hold down the arrow keys. So that's outside the car, even further. And that's a really cool view. You can see like a, a 3D road in front of me. I'm going to be playing in this mode, inside the car. Let me restart the game. Now the best thing about this, all the graphics are on maximum. Now you can't look to your left and right look, there's no looking around in the car, like you get in a normal VR game. So if you don't mind just playing this game as you would play it normally, pancake mode. The benefits of this is on a it's on a giant 3D screen and it's still playable a lot. Looks really really nice. It's running really smooth as well. Okay, I'm a bit rusty, I haven't played this for a while. Like I said, don't expect the best 3D in the world, but it still works. Still looks really nice, pretty cool. I'm sure at some point there'll be a 3D geometry profile for the game, so... we Okay, that's pretty cool.
Uh, this is super fast though, running super smooth as well. I'll show you my game settings after this race. Okay, it's snowing in the game. Pretty cool, really. If you've got Warpex and if you've got this game, uh, this is a no-brainer to try, guys. Some people will like it, some people won't like it. I know a lot of people in the VR community don't like um, Z Adaptive modes. I played um, Cyberpunk in this mode. I had a blast in Cyberpunk. I could not play Cyberpunk on a flat screen after I played it in VR in Vorpex. Even though it didn't have the best 3D in the world, for me it's still a lot better. I'd rather play a game like this than on a flat screen. If anybody tweaks the profile and gets it looking better, like I said, I like a lot more 3D depth in my games. I really like the 3D to pop out. I would say this is the minimum 3D you can get in Warpex. But I'm still getting that sense of depth. And the cockpit's got some 3D depth as well. I can see those cars in the distance. And I can see the distance between the cars. And the beauty about playing these games, the more you play them, the more your brain adjusts to playing them. And the 3D does start to pop out a bit more, if that makes sense. So the longer you play these games, the more the 3D pops out, as your eyes and your brain starts to adjust to what you're seeing. If I switch to the uh, road view again, in this mode you can really see the um, the 3D effect more. I'm going for the uh, realism of being inside the car. There we go. And you guys should have a really nice video to watch. I do like this game, this is a fun game. Now this is not going to be as good as games like Project Cars, that sort of thing. Because those games were made for VR, this game was not made for VR. Okay, second place. Okay, I'm going to choose a different race. Sub Zero. Let's go for this car. Another dirt off road series race about to get underway. Okay, I'm going to show my in game settings before we do the race. Okay, I've just installed the game again. These settings are based on my RTX 2070. I've not changed them at all. So we've got VSync off, dynamic resolution, and everything's on automatic lock. I'm leaving this alone. Um, it looks really, really nice, so I'm not going to mess around with these. If you want to, guys, you can mess around with the um, settings. Okay, let's go. Oh, we're sliding now.
These cards still look more realistic in Z Adaptive mode than they would on a flat screen. I can still see the uh, 3D depth of the cars. This is my first time racing on ice as well, so this is quite an experience. Okay, first place. I can see the uh, confetti on the floor there. First place. You are definitely not making any friends out there. And keep the aggression, because that'll help you get the wins, but just make sure you don't. Okay, let's try a different race. Different track. Okay, let's do the um, stampede. Okay, 4x4. Four four. Can I afford a new car? Not quite. Okay. Let's go for the blue one. Okay, we've got snow again. The Xbox controller does have haptics guys, so I can feel the uh, the car rumbling. Okay, this looks really, really cool. Some really cool effects with the uh, windscreen, the wipers and the, um, the snow and everything. Now, I'm more of an arcade racer guy than a sim guy, so I don't play these games like a, like a professional sim racer. I'll crash and bash these cars to cheat my way into first place. It's actually quite hard to see with all the uh, particles on the windscreen. My brain is starting to think that I'm in a real vehicle as well. Because I'm playing this on a giant screen, this car looks realistic from the point of view that I feel like I'm sat in the car racing. Again, that's something that doesn't happen if I was to play this game on a flat monitor. Let's go there. And as you can see, the game is running super smooth. No performance issues with this um, profile and Vorpex. Okay, that gave me a bit of a, a few butterflies there. And that's something that would not happen if I was playing this on a flat screen either. Because I've got that little bit of 3D depth, that felt like a proper jump. And my brain felt the drop. Man, the tree! Or was that a bush?
Lots of particle effects in this game. I wouldn't say go out and buy Warpex just to play this game in VR. If you've already got Warpex there, it's worth a try. Can I catch these up? Here we go. Ready for the drop. Whee! Yeah, really cool feeling there. Third place, okay, let's do one more race. You get to see the 3D a lot more with objects up close. So the closer the objects are, the more the 3D stands out. Got some cash. Okay, we've unlocked some new tracks. Let's find a nice one to finish on. Cape Town Stadium. Okay, let's go for the Redeemer. I can afford a new car. Okay, what we're we going for? Let's go for the nice red one. So the benefits of playing this game, for those of you new to VR, you'll get no motion sickness. You're just playing the game on a giant 3D screen and you won't get sick moving your head around. I love the dips in this game. I prefer games with lots of dips and drops. I think that's why my favourite uh, VR racing games are the Dirt Rally series. I like to feel the bumps and the hills. This feels really good though. I'm having fun, I'm having a blast. I've got that little bit of extra immersion here. I would say this is equivalent to playing this game on a giant 3D screen at home. So imagine sat on your sofa, in front of you is a giant screen and you've got the option to play the game in 3D. That's what this feels like. You see that? Events like these, that's what we're after. The big headline grabbing showstoppers. 
But they don't just let anyone enter. Not even if AJ asks Thank very nicely. So how do I get that golden ticket I hear you ask? Well, my friend. Okay, let me try this new um, event I've unlocked. I would love to see the uh, Dirt Rally series of VR games be a lot more adventurous with tracks on occasions like this. Can't see a thing with the sunlight. VR makes these games a lot more challenging with the uh, weather effects and the particles. It feels a lot more difficult to navigate these levels with uh, reduced visibility. Go through the bridge. Go through here. I can only imagine what this game would be like playing with a, with a steering wheel. I've never owned one. I'd love to try one. They've been a bit too expensive for me though. In the first place. Try and keep my lead here. Sharp turn. Can't see a thing. The sun. Well, oh, there's a. I just saw the bend there. I don't know the track, this is my first time on the track as well. So I've got no muscle memory of the track. I'm racing blind basically. Find the sparks. Come on, come on. Okay, I've got a good lead. I just need to maintain the lead. 
Yeah, we did it. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And the game crashed. Perfect timing.